um, this instrument have allowed us to, to see the beginning of the formation of particles. So whereas before we had um, instruments that could only capture larger, like for example 10 nanometer particles, they are already there in the air. But having this technology allows, allows us to capture the beginning of the formation and that's something that, had, that hadn't happened before. Sometimes when you're a researcher, you sit in your office, in your own little bubble, and you focus on one small problem. It's really important to see the big picture. Having colleagues who work on different topics is really beneficial. Talking to my colleagues at lunchtime, sometimes a small comment makes me see my problem in a whole different light. Some people I work with have got different backgrounds, and they see problems or they tackle a problem in a different way to what I would. And sometimes this makes you have this eureka moment when you go, ah, that's how I needed to do that. I wouldn't figure that out sitting in my office by myself. The group here in Helsinki also has cutting edge instruments. I mean, we have access to instruments that not many people in the world have. Having access to all these state-of-the-art instruments and data allows us to really do great research here that wouldn't be done in some other place. I think I did very well with my first experience of the teaching, but also as a, in these field courses, we are working as a teacher assistant, and then we are also learning from the students, and learn, students learning from us, so we have a very friendly atmosphere there. Uh, when I did my master's here, I wasn't forced to just focus on one um, field. I have access to different fields that to come together to give me a whole picture. I was studying as a physicist, but I had classes from forestry, and then you are able to see the interactions better, the whole ecosystem interactions. Um, and this is really important because later on when we're, when we're tackling environmental issues, it's not focused on one field. You have to have an understanding of the whole thing put together. In atmospheric sciences, we have different um, study lines. We have six in total. Students can, in all of these lines, they can be taught by researchers who are experts in their area, world-leading experts. The teaching in our master's programme is really research-driven. When I teach, I make sure my newest research results I also communicate to my students. So you have this balance of having a good working environment, but at the same time you have options to go out and, you know, art, culture, yeah. I am a part of this uh, one of the biggest and strongest group in this field in the, in the world now. So after I'm done with my PhD here, like I would say all the doors are open for me and whatever I want I can do.